it going? It is Fangs, and today is gonna be a very special day. For one, we're gonna have a vlog on my channel, which we haven't had since my baby gender reveal. And for two, it's going to be for my baby. Um, so this is a video where I want to buy my son. His name is gonna be Rook, you guys know that. Brooks, Rook is for short. Um, but he is going to be getting his first pair of cleats or boots today. That's what this whole vlog is gonna be based off of. Although I'm gonna show you my daily life as well, because I vlog like this every day on another channel called Fubi. You guys need to check it out. Link in the description down below. It's going to be my family channel. Keep up with it. You'll be able to see everything about the baby, everything about my daily life there. But for today, I've started out. I've made a FIFA video. Something huge happened in it, and you guys will have seen that probably after this video. Something huge. You need to check that out. It's a draft video. Check that out. Let me show you what's been going on in my life though. Hold on. I got to go over here. We're going to get into the dark a little bit because it's going to be behind me, but We've been buying some stuff. We're waiting for, let me grab it. I'm gonna pull it out here. Just some things I'm gonna show you. We're waiting for the, uh, obviously the showers to see what other people get us. But if you would've seen my Fubi vlogs, you'd see we've kind of done some shopping. And we've got like, look at these little socks right here. Those are baseballs, but look behind it. We got some footballs right there as his socks already. On top of that, he's going to be Rookster, the Superman. That's a really cute one that we have. Um, camo's a big deal here just because it's Texas and there's hunting. So we've got Daddy's little man. Look at the footsies. Oh my God, that's super cute as well. And then this actually came from a viewer before whenever we were saying that we were trying to have babies and um, they just sent it as a gift, which, my P.O. box is open, I'll have a link in the description down below. If you do want to send anything for the baby, I have a P.O. box. I will have a registry where you can send stuff directly to my house, although it won't show my address. Trust me, it's not going to show my address. But they were able to send this little passy right here, and it was wrapped up, so don't worry, I know all that. But it's super cute, and it has a fox. And believe it or not, the room, his like his room, is going to be a fox theme. I'll show you which room is going to be his room, but when we get everything together on it, it's going to be a fox theme. So this is actually going to be his room right now. It's Doobie's office. So you walk back here. This is all going to go, this is going to go downstairs into our main master bedroom because we have tons of room for that. So his office is going to be down there now. Um, we are going to dismantle the day beds, probably one of them. We're going to keep one and make this turn to a different color just because we want it to match. His bed's probably going to go right here. Um, nothing there. This right here where this is, that's going to be his dresser and we're going to have some stuff on the wall. I can't wait to do that. That's going to be way later down the road, probably when I'm like six months pregnant. But this will be the little boy Rookster, or Rook's room. Anyway guys, it should be a fun and exciting day. We're also cooking a turkey because the day that you get this is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, if you're American. If you're not, just have a happy day. I hope. Eat some turkey for me, Fangs. Um, and yeah, so anyway, let's get started with the day. Hey little football, are you excited to get yourself a brother? Yeah, I've been waiting for this brother forever. You don't want to talk about it, do you? I'm not excited, guys. I want to be the only child. Stream's done. Still have a video to edit, but before that happens, we're gonna head over to Will's parents' house and learn how to make some mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. Go get some more. You gotta have things that uh, people are interested in. <laughs> Will is the um, the grandmaster potato cutter today. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel amazing. How many have you done? I feel like I'm bringing home the gold. <laughs> so I think we I think we hit a certain point. And we're good. I, I don't think there's any more lumps now. It's really, we need to focus on the taste. All right, currently finished the mashed potatoes. You guys got to see a little bit of that. I'm driving, we just picked up Will's car. You can see it right here. I'm gonna probably have to block out that license plate. It had a ton of problems. Had to get a new alternator, had some gaskets that need to be replaced. It was crazy. A bunch of stuff broke at once. $2,000 later, we get his car back and we're about to possibly start looking for other family cars to replace that because we don't want to have that happening like often. My car is pretty new. The one I'm driving in is pretty new and it's more dependable. That one, because it was the first, like I think it was the first year of its model, it has had a ton of problems. So we're thinking about it. We'll see how it goes. Although we just paid a lot to get it fixed. But now we're gonna go shopping for the boots or the cleats. Um, hopefully we find something the smallest we can get. Cause I know you can't get like newborn. Obviously he's not gonna wear that, but maybe like a one year old or two year old size one. I know it'll be a while before he can wear it, but he'll have it when he's born and it'll be super cute. So we're gonna go first to this place called Not Just Soccer. Then we'll probably go to Academy in this place called Hibbit Sports. And we got some other stuff. I mean, we gotta make the turkey tonight. He's gotta work out. I gotta edit videos. It's a long, busy day, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun one. Well, it looks like we're not gonna get the boots at freaking Just Soccer or Not Just Soccer not because just soccer. it's closed. So you can see the closed sign over there. So um, where are we gonna go now? 
guess we're gonna have to go out to Hibbit. Academy or Hibbit? Hibbit or Academy, that's where they'll be coming from. You know what, Not just Sucker? You should have been open the day before Thanksgiving. I can't believe you. Slurpy time, slurpy, slurpy time. Super bright right now, because the sun is going down, but one of my most favorite things in the world is a Slurpy. This is Dr. Pepper, mm, 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 mm. Okay, we've made it to Hibbit Sports. They are open. They are open. Maybe we'll find the pair we want here. We won't even have to go to Academy, we'll see. We have the tiny cleats. You, apparently this is the smallest one we've seen. That might be the smallest size that you're able to get. Do you think? Ooh, look at those. What if we could get those in some kind of like tiny size? That would be perfect. Those are pretty sick. They are pretty sick. I think it would be perfect. Even though they won't be like at the time that he can get actually a, wear can them. Can I get a look at that little dude? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. See this I will wait on because I want it to be in style. Oh, this is even tinier. Oh my God. Oh my Baby gosh. Adidas. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <gasps> These look like almost like little Yeezy looking things. Oh my God. Dear. Right, so we're back in the office. I'm actually just doing a render right now. I have been editing. I still have one more video that I want to try to put together and make, but I think I'm gonna play some PUBG a little bit with uh, Nepenthes and Tobias. And on top of that, we still have, it's like 7.14. I need to eat my dinner. We want to try to put the tree up. We got to do the turkey. And I'm going to show you guys the boots that I bought, which I have in the other room. I'll show you guys the boots that I bought here in a little bit. We'll go through and we'll do a little unboxing of them. And that'll probably end off the vlog for today. But for now, I'm gonna play some PUBG. Before I make my scrum diddly umptious dinner, we're done with the videos. I wanna show you something really cool real quick. We're gonna go outside. We're gonna go look at the Christmas lights from my house. They're really nice. Dude, we put them up. Oh my God, it's freezing out here. Oh my God, it's so cold. Look how cool our house looks. Isn't that awesome? It's so cool. And that light's doing the reflection of the other things. Thank you, Doobie. Let's get some food. We gotta run inside. We gotta get our dinner. My dinner is gonna be so freaking cheap. Are you guys ready for this? I got these because I had these back in the day whenever I was younger, but it was more of like a kid's version. Now they have this version called The Hungry Man. I have to show this to you. It's so funny and it's gonna have so much sodium and I don't even care because I'm pregnant and I need sodium. Where's it at? Okay, it is the Hungry Man Select. 44 G's of protein, that's right, 44 G's of protein. You got your fried chicken, you got mashed potatoes and gravy, you got freaking green beans. I'm gonna heat this up, I'm gonna show you it when it's done. Dirt is hungry too, she's like, give me my food too. Are you ready for the final result? One, two, three, boom! Oh my God, that does not look that delicious. Let me make sure I get a good zoom on it. Ugh. Looking a little bit different than I remember as a child, but the fried chicken does look a little okay, it's just the green beans look weird and the potatoes look weird, the mash, but the brownie looks del delicious. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know, this could be interesting. It's an experiment. How much, let me tell you how many calories I'm getting with this. Hold on, let me tell you. The calories for the Hungry Man are 1,050, 72 Gs of fat. Oh my God, this is gonna be so bad. This is gonna be so bad. How much protein though? 44 Gs of protein. That makes me feel at least a little bit better. I need protein for the baby. It was just all right. It wasn't that good, it was just all right. Whoa. All right, it is time for the Christmas tree that we're gonna be putting up today. What are you gonna do about the turkey? Huh? What are you gonna do about starting the turkey? Do it after this. How, how are you just gonna let it sit unless all night? You, unless you want me to set up the tree and then you can start decorating the tree and I do the turkey. Yeah, are you gonna let it sit all night? Sit? Yeah, the turkey. Because you're gonna smoke. What, how are you gonna stay up with it? Are you gonna stay up? I mean, I'll probably be up naturally until like three. And uh, we gotta open the cavity to put a can in there so we keep it moist during the smoke. He just pulled- Is this freaking you out? Yes, he just pulled that out of that. That is just disturbing. This is the turkey for tomorrow. That came out of that. And I'm supposed to be eating that. I worked so hard to create this tree right here. I'm just kidding, it comes pre-lit. So I've pretty much just been pulling this stuff apart. It is a fake Christmas tree. Um, because real ones just get stuff everywhere. It's pre-lit, so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put all the ornaments on and I'll let you guys watch while I do that.
ends Screaming loud, stupid shit Scaring all of my old friends Fell down on Bedford Hope that it's not broken Safe to say I might have had too much Some of these potions I love you so much I'm staying here all night Don't wanna get up I don't wanna stop I don't wanna close my eyes I'd rather not give a fuck And end up with some scars The night's just long enough For me to build it all And let it fall apart Cause I'm tired of confessing And I know that it's not much to say But I swear that I'd like to change I can't sleep, I hope I stay awake I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna show you every little single part of it. Let's see this real quick. Okay. Well, okay, the star is a problem because Will dropped it. It's right here. He dropped it before we put it on. So we have to get a new one because it won't light up anymore. So we don't have the star at the top, but you can go around here. Hopefully it'll be nice. We have a beer mug. We have Iron Man looking nice right there. We got a nice Native American for my Cherokee ancestry. We got a few of those things. We've got the feather there. We have our beautiful ski guys, BB-8, nice BB-8. Um, some Santas, you gotta have some back here. I'll show you what it looks like from outside of our house too. That is a cooler, a Texas Tech one, because that's where we went. Well, oh, there's one more I gotta put on here that I'll put on here in a little bit. That's a raccoon. You guys can see him real quick. We got a football, nice little football, some pictures of us. That was one that his cousin gave us. And this was another one she gave us in 2014 after our wedding. Got a wolf up top, that's real nice. Um, the D for our last name. There's a cupcake right here. And another Santa. What else do we have? We have a lot of things. Randomly, there's like random things like a mushroom, if you can see that right there. And then let me go around to the back. What else do we have back here? Oh, we have a reindeer. We have a squirrel that my actual cat squirrel was attacking. Santa. This guy's really cute. I like him. Let me show you. Oh, hey there. Hi there. This is a sled that's really cute. And then let me show you this. I want to see a squirrel. What were you doing the whole time that mom was uh, was putting the tree together? You gonna come get this? This thing, she like took it off the tree and ran away with it. But I don't think she's as hyped anymore. I wish I would have recorded it. Let's see if she does squirrel. She's not gonna chase it. If I can get her on camera, I'll do it. But she was, she took it off the tree. She put it under there. But anyway, this is our Christmas tree. Let's go look and see what it looks like from outside. When people creepily come to peek in our door, they'll see our beautiful Christmas tree right there. And they'll see creepy doobie right there. <laughs> Making his turkey. He sees me, I think. He sees me looking at him at that. There's our tree though. Okay, so for the final part of this video, you guys saw me shopping a little bit for the boots. We're gonna do an unboxing of them today. This is gonna be Rook's very first pair of soccer boots or cleats, whichever one you wanna call them. And I'm super excited. They are Adidas. <sighs> and they're supposed to be amazing. I've really loved Adidas in general lately. I don't know what it is. I used to be a huge Nike girl. I still am, but I've been loving, like, of course, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, is this Nike? Yes, I think, no, this is Adidas! <laughs> I was way off, my pants are Under Armour. I used to, to be, like, huge, though, Nike, and Adidas has been my thing. But we're gonna go ahead and pull them out. First, you, uh, you open it up here, and you've got that awesome wrapping paper that's got all the Adidas players on it. You can see right there. We've got all the different players that represent Adidas, which I really like. I'm actually gonna pull it out so I can show it to you. Let me pull it out here. So, there's men and women of all sorts. And it's actually not even just football players, it's all kinds of athletes. So you see there's Messi on here. There's, um, that's like, well, let me look for some different ones that actually, Eric Berry, definitely not. Manuel Neuer, there we go. There's one for football. Um, there is James Harden for basketball. What else do we got up here? Anybody, where's Pogba? Where's my boy Pogba? I know that he's Adidas. Those new Predators came out, which I really, really want, but I don't see his face on here, which is kind of weird. Anyway, so we're gonna get started with pulling him out in three, two, one. We did it. The ones that I told you guys that I was gonna be a big fan of, I saw them and I was like, this has to happen. Flexible ground, suitable for firm ground, hard ground, amazing little things. Now, this was the smallest size they had. It is 11 
K US and a 10 and a half K for the UK and just look at the little bottom of them Isn't that the cutest thing? Look how small this is next to my like my foot would never let me hold my foot up to it Look at it compared to my foot. It's actually kind of bigger than what I imagine it would be but he will probably fit in this. I don't know if they make him really smaller than this. I'm sure I'm gonna be able to find it somewhere, but he'll probably fit in this whenever he's like three or four years old. And by the time he's sitting there and he's playing some sports and he needs himself his first pair of cleats or boots, they may be a little outdated, but I'll be like, dude, Rook, these were amazing in their time. I got your first pair of football boots. If not, they'll probably be something that I'll use to decorate in his new room, which will be awesome as well. But let me get up close. I'll take the little stuff out of them so you guys can see. My cat's in here trying to get water off of my desk and she's gonna end up knocking it over. I'll take this out. We have the little Nemesis inside here. You can read that. It says 17.4 Nemesis, which is nice. You got everything going on here to the outside. The back says Nemesis. I'm gonna try to zoom and focus on that. Boom, Nemesis right there. Just a beautiful, beautiful boot that we've put together. Come on, focus. Don't focus on my face, focus on the boot. There and there. So that is lovely. They weren't that expensive either. For little kids shoes, um, they were 40 bucks and they are going to hopefully be something that he really just watched. He's gonna come out and he's not even gonna wanna play. It'll be like, I bought you your first pair of boots and you don't even like sports. That can happen. I don't care what he's into, but at least have something to like put it in his way. And I think it's cute. And if it's not anything that he'll wear, it'll at least decorate his room or something like that. So that is Rook's first boots. I wanna say thanks for you guys that showed up and checked out this vlog. There's two of them here, look at this. Oh my God, oh my God, little things are so cute. I'm gonna be so addicted. I'm gonna be so addicted. Thank you guys so much though for stopping by and checking out the vlog. If you wanna see this every now and then you like seeing some of the stuff we're doing for baby Rook or the things we're doing around the house and all the crazy stuff, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because these boots are awesome. Get this video right here to 2,000 likes and until next time, see you guys later.